messy. If I get inside, though, and fight my way to... Let's see. Alright, another decision point. Do I ditch the rollerblades, dive into this corridor, and start chopping things up, and hope I can make it to all the way through the hospital? Or do... Oh, yeah, there's that's what I was looking for. That right there. I'm remembering correctly. I just forgot about this hallway door. When I when it was in shadow, I couldn't tell if this was the glass wall I was looking for for the cafeteria. This would actually be faster if I came over here. Because what I want to get to, if I go in here, there's like a hallway right here. And I just need to run through the hallway. And then the surgery center is right about here. So your necro is sitting... Roughly right about this spot, right there. So, doff the, the rollerblades, go barefoot. If I have to get rid of the rollerblades, there's, there's no choice there. I can't go into this place to try to fight with the rollerblades on. With the blades on, I could chop through these little guys pretty easily. And it's in my favor because we've got low evolution settings. So... The only advanced stuff is stuff you actually generate, but the downside is if I kill that tough, for example, anybody could uh, do the uh, cheaper donation and res it and turn it into a, uh, a brute. And then if that goes down, you can turn it into a Hulk. <laughs> so. I think the hallway is better only because usually the cafeteria's got a boatload of zombies. Got a boatload of zombies in it. <laughs> oh man. Man, oh man, oh man. Well <laughs> I guess um I'll wait to see uh what my new plan is gonna be based on uh, what Itter's gonna put in this hallway for me. Oh yeah, moose them if you got them. Sorry. Got distracted there. Uh, gotta contribute my, my moose salute. I'm really, really hoping we've uh, we've broken a few records and unlocked a few things tonight. Mm, we're gonna wait out the bonging noises. <laughs> oh no, no. You guys aren't out of duct tape yet? <laughs> You're going to make me fight my way through multiple Kevlar Hulks again? Uh. <laughs> What's the number? Four out of six on the next Hulk? Uh. I thought, I thought, I was, I was absolutely sure I would drain your guys' duct tape supply dry by midpoint of the evening. I was sure of it. Oh, don't worry. If, if you get the Hulk, he's not showing up now. You don't need to save him for the last minute. This is the last run. This is either me dead or the Necromancer dead. There's no more teleporting. So it's, it's fine. If you guys have duct tape and want Hulks, it's you don't need to wait to spend the, the, the duct tape on them. They're just going to accumulate, and however many uh, you guys buy between now and when I get there is how many you're going to get to use. No, teleports are done. There are no teleports. We we ixnade the teleports. <laughs> you guys got your last teleport. I got my last heal. Now it's just uh, it's me against the uh, necromancer in the current positioning. There's no more moving around or running away. This is the final run. We're seven hours in. This this is for all the uh, all the beans. The only thing open for duct tape now is the uh, purchasing of Kevlar hulks. And if you guys get four or five of them, I'll just, <laughs> just, I don't know what I'll do. Roll a grenade into the room and then uh, just make my bonsai yell and charge on in, I guess. Alright, so uh, is it done bonging? Did we get, uh, what, what was it you were looking to do there, Itter? Did I miss a uh, giant naked mole rat in the corridor? <laughs> All right, um, where at in the corridor? 
Use the uh, use the door here as a reference and tell me how many north and how many west, if necessary. And I will place the mole rat there. Starting from here. So one, two, three, one, for example, or just one, two, three, wherever you want. Doesn't really matter. All right, I'm gonna put them just north of the runner. So spawn, spawn monster, mole rats. Giant naked mole rat. All right, I am proposing to put the naked mole rat right here. If I can get a last okay or don't care, that's, that's where he's going. All right, that's where he's going. Mole, naked mole rat in play. <laughs> We've had some pretty fun ones. There's a lot of interesting zombies. You guys need to check out the spawn lists, and uh, I'm sure we're going to have some pretty crazy combinations next time we do something like this where uh, we'll see some fun stuff. Oh, yeah, he's a pretty, pretty boy. I love giant naked mole rats. They are one of my favorite critters. Love these guys. I've had a lot of fun with them, and I've had a lot of horrifying deaths due to them, so. Alright, um, well, that, uh, that does put paid to my plan of going through the corridor. You have successfully blocked my path, just for the fact that he's going to be collapsing roofs, and I don't want to get caught under the roof rubble, and, um, <laughs> then get nibbled to death, so. Yeah. So I think I'm going to go east, or west I mean, and see um, see how things look over in the cafeteria side. Actually, I think I might roll back around to here, because if that cafeteria is empty, and I can go in through the window here, and then shuffle into the hallway... Armored zombie? Only problem is I, I would very easily avoid an armored zombie. For this character especially. I'm, I'm loaded up with movement bonuses. Even when I take the, the rollerblades off. So... Yeah, armored zombie I would just walk right past. Now future characters, I'll do different builds. I won't always do this kind of speed character. So we'll do different builds and different tries. <laughs> That's the noise I wanted to avoid. <laughs> Go, mole rat, go! <laughs> oh, he hasn't brought down the roof yet. He's just going after walls. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. All right, I'm going to go around. I want to see what that other side looks like. If I've got a clear route through the, um, through the glass wall, I might get a peek right here. What's it look like? Hmm, it's looking kind of good. If I got a fairly clear route, I might get over to here. Or I could take a vehicle and ram it all the way through there. <laughs> Drive my way into the auto dock. Maps! I gotta go get the maps. Alright, oh look at that. They even got a wall broke for me. I think this might be it right here. I think we're coming up on end game. All right, so there's a hallway. I, I want to say it's right about here. There are doors. I could take the doors. That goes into, what, the kitchen prep area and the cleaning room or something? No, kitchen prep's over that way. This is like a locker room. I'm trying to remember how it's set up. <laughs> Those doors are my best bet if they're clear. And if not, I'll circle back down and around. So, let's uh, work our way up that way. Not getting knocked down. So there's the lockers that I was talking about. I think this is... I think that's a hallway. Yeah, I'm not far enough north yet. The hospital's a little taller than I remember, so... I think I have to go in and then cut up and then cut across again. So, let's bring these guys out and around the vehicle a bit. 
might skate them around to get a little better positioning so I don't have to worry about stuff coming in behind me directly. Let's get the door open first. Alright, so there's the hallway. Currently, if I take that, I'm going to have a boatload of small zombies to kill. They're going to nickel and dime me a bit. That'll also open me up to you guys rezzing and upgrading stuff. So, skate around and try to clear the area a bit first without attracting too much other attention. I think yes, at least at least one run. We're gonna we got the attention of those guys in the hallway. I'm gonna work my way back south. I don't want to attract new zombies into the area. Drag all these guys away a bit, and then we'll uh, we'll try to circle back around and get into that hallway a little cleaner. dog. It's making me they're too fast. I'm, I'm starting to lose uh, some of my pursuers here. Let's see. I want to be able to loop back around and get back up there. How much further? Um, As I move up, they're going to move towards me. The guys up here are going to come south first. Those guys will come down. I think I'll, I think I'll get enough room. I think I'm just going to go for it right here. This is definitely a do or die, because once I commit to that hallway, <laughs> I don't think there's any coming back out. I'm going to have like 50 zombies plugged in behind me. Oh boy. Unload. No knockdowns, please. I really don't want to die to a random horde at this point. Alright, that's about as clean as I can get it. I'll have a little bit of a room advantage on them. I can shut the doors briefly. But I gotta have a moment to get my rollerblades off, too. All right, let's hope the uh, hallway is clear enough that I can get that moment free. As soon as the roller blades come off, we're, we're, we're committed. All right, anybody got any advice? <laughs> I, I'm, I, as soon as I take these roller blades off and move down this hallway, I'm pretty much, we're in do or die mode. I got about 50, 50 zombies piling in the hallway behind me. I'll have two sets of doors I can close. They're gonna they're gonna go fast. And I'm praying I'm remembering right. It's through these doors. We're gonna have a hallway north south, and like I want to say it's uh, patient recovery rooms on this side with a hallway, and then again on this side, and it's the northernmost patient recovery room here. That's the auto dock. That's what I think. <laughs> Die in a fire? Yeah, we might. We might. Set the hospital on fire and hide while it burns down. That uh, that would technically accomplish the task, but uh, now nah, we're we're gonna get right in there and mix it up. Still got my gun. No, nobody's brought a technician up to take my gun out of my hands. What are we on on the Hulk? We got one Hulk purchase so far and three upgrades available that we, we think we know about. Alright, I'm gonna commit. Let's get this let's get this over with. Drop! Oh man. If I got carry I got carry capacity, I can just take them off. And maybe I can slip them back on again. Alright, roller blades are off. We are barefoot. We are not speedy while barefoot. It'd be much better if I was in shoes. Alright, first question. What's behind the door? And do I stick with the rifle or do I switch to my blades? I think I'm going to have to fight a few things. 
possible we can make it to there. There's the hallway I needed. Only a couple of zombies can see me. Something's coming up behind me so far. Alright. Oh, it's a soldier zombie there. No! I bl is it this room or is it the next set? I can't remember if there's two sets. I think, I think, I think I'm going to have to go... Arr, crap. I'm going to end up fighting before I get in there. Yeah, flashlight off would be helpful. So that is not the auto dock. Can't remember if there's another set here. I, I think there's one more set of rooms, and I'm not quite there yet. Is it this one? <laughs> it is not this one. Oh crap! <laughs> Damn it! Oh, I'm gonna die so close, so close. I don't think I can make it through that gap before they close off my access. Uh, I wasn't counting on quite that many in that central spot. So that is the second treatment room. It's right here is what I need. So there's a repeat of this kind of setup here. There's another set of rooms. And your, your guy is sitting right here. I just got to plow through about 40 zombies and any upgrades you guys create. Before I get to him. They've seen me, so they're gonna come straight south and plug the gap. I don't think there's any chance I'm gonna I'm gonna get in there before. Yeah, you guys have got one Hulk or one Kevlar Hulk already uh, already bought up. I have a second option. I could back out again. I do have enough space, I think, that I could back out, try to get back outside, circle around to the front, come in the front, pull this group out. And then circle around and uh, come into the front lobby. Try to get to the room that way. Could be swarming with zombies up front as well. I, I could be walking into the same thing. Hmm. Charge, YOLO it, or back off. Knowing my luck, I'm going to try to back off and the hallway is going to be plugged. So what's my fallback? If I get to this door and I see the hallway plugged, I can still get out either of these ways if I can stay ahead of things. Much as I want to YOLO it, I don't think I can get there. I think too many of these things are going to step down and block my path, and then I'll be mobbed. But I think I got to back up. Much as I was hoping to make that, that, that crowd right there is just not going not gonna to be a smart move to try to go through that. So we're going to try to back off. See if we can recover and come back around from the other side. Pull some of these guys south away from the, uh, the recovery room. <laughs> or, or we're not. Alright, Yellow Crescent, be that way. <laughs> what are you going to inflict upon me in my current tactical situation? That's going to change my mind. Bio-operator right to the north of the soldier next to you. Ooh, that's mean. That's mean. I gotcha. I know where, I know where you want him. That would still force me to be adjacent to him for two spaces before I could clear his, his area. And I'm not on rollerblades anymore. I'll go slow. So you want... You want him right here. That's, that's what my understanding is. Alright, that's where he's going. I applaud your choice. Bio operator. Right there. What does that do to my plan? Yeah, you know, I'll wait. No problem. We're back in slow mode here, so I got no problem waiting. I'm 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 willing to fight this stuff. I can take almost all of the low level zombies, I think. If I can get my back into a corner, <laughs> get my back into a corner, uh, maybe not. <laughs> All right, what's coming now? 
Ouchity ouch ouch. Oh yeah, uh, uh, oh I forgot. Uh, we need a lot of mooses. We need mooses. We had more, uh, more very generous donations of support. Many, many mooses. And then I'll, uh, if you already said what you want, you'll have to restate it. <laughs> uh oh, hype train. Is that the hype train? Yep, hype train's left the building. This might be your last chance for the evening. Right here, this this could be it. So if you're if you're inclined to uh, to donate to the channel or to support the channel directly, this could be the last opportunity. Because I'm definitely not going to start another one. <laughs> we're we're done at this next death. <laughs> Oh, man! <laughs> Chad Thulu dropped another one. Uh, I need more mooses. I'm running out of mooses. I am suffering a moose shortage. I need to go breed some more mooses. No more heels. No more heels. Heels are turned off. No heels, no teleporting. It's Kevlar Hulks, and that's pretty much it for duct tape now. All right, wait a minute. How many? Am I, how many just fired off? Insane monkey, then ice viper, then Chad Thulu. Did I did I miss some? I I have totally lost track. Oh crap, Chad, you did two more. Uh, all right. Hold on. Settle down. <laughs> now I've. I've totally lost track. Alright, so the hype train is hit level 5, and it's 157%. I don't think it goes any higher. I think it just doles out bonus, uh, bonus emotes for folks. So, now that the spam is done, um, let's settle back in here. So... Yeah, um... Zombie Hulk to the right. Oh, two Zombie Hulks. Zombie Hulks to the right and left of the bio operator. So you want you can't have one to the right because that's adjacent to me. So the no none here. You can have one here and you can have one here next to the soldier and on the other side of the bio operator. But you can't have one right here. That's that's directly adjacent. Left and right, down of the bio. So left and right of the soldier. Oh, my mouse is not showing? Sorry about that. <laughs> I, I had the focus turned off, my bad. I was on focused on the other screen. All right, so we're talking left and right of the soldier, correct? Bio operator. Hey, okay, hold on. <laughs> we'll get them all in. Um, you... Left of bio, right of soldier. Gotcha. All right. Let's get that in first. So, two hulks. Spawning monster. Hulk. Zombie hulk. Left of the bio. And right of the soldier. All right. That is our current. Thank you again, Chad. Very much appreciate the, uh, the channel's support. Who else do we got? Bio, north, right side of the fat zone. So, north, right side of the fat zone. Two spaces out. Bio operator.
All right, so we got two hawks and a bio down. Who else got something? <laughs> I've lost track. All right, anybody else owed? I think I got at least one more, right? I think we got one more person I need to give something or put something on for, or are we done? All right. What you got for me, Insane Monkey, given this arrangement? Remember, I do not have rollerblades on. I'm in bare feet. Level 5 Hype Train Emote. Oh, a Hype Unicorn. Hype Unicorn number 4. Well, we're going to go into fighty mode here pretty quick. <laughs> so, if you, if you uh, want to have uh, smaller donations, that's very possible. Uh, as soon as I start killing a few things, you can raise the uh, littler zombies up into higher level zombies. Assuming I don't get instantly pulped by uh, hulks and bio-operators. Uh, is it going on YouTube immediately? Or is it going on the backlog? Well, here's the thing. You know that big backlog, that four-month backlog? It ends tomorrow. <laughs> the backlog is dead as of tomorrow. My last pre-scheduled four months ahead of time videos end tomorrow. So I'm going to do something on Sunday for uh, a channel update, a, uh, a notification of the changes coming to the channel, a big thank you shout out for... Um, for the end of the month fundraising subathon uh, benefit we had this evening. And uh, this will be going up on YouTube right away. So there won't be any big long wait for it. I have to wait 24 hours, so it can't go up tomorrow, but it'll be up on Sunday. So yeah, no big wait. All right, we're still waiting on Insane Monkey, right? What, aren't you owed something? Oh, you want bio-operator directly east of the bio-operator that is directly two tiles north of you. Okay, so you want... Focus back here. Make sure I don't accidentally click on anything. You want... Oh, that's part of the problem. I forgot I had recentered my view. <laughs> you want a bio-operator right there, is my understanding? Directly east of the bio-operator, there's directly two tiles north. Of Isn't that... Directly east... Oh, sorry. That one right there? Gotcha. <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking two spaces over. All right, so that's where he's going, right there. You guys sure have your favorites. <laughs> I am not disagreeing. I fear bio-operators. Those guys are nasty. All right, anybody else that has uh, contributed to this slaughter fest of poor Vormithrax got something to chime in with right now. If you if you want to donate at a lower level, that's perfectly fine. We'll uh, we'll have some dead zombies. All there have to be is some corpses, and then you can upgrade and uh, raise the corpses with the smaller ones. All right, yeah, no black ops zombies showed up this time. So what am I gonna do here? Is this the part where I explain my evil plan, my nefarious uh, my way I'm gonna get out of this and kill you, and then you immediately plug the the one way I'm gonna be able to to do this? Is that the stage of the, uh, the thing we're in? No, no explaining. <laughs> no explaining. Do it now. I don't know. Maybe I don't want to do it now. <laughs> Just go. Eh, all right. I will. All right. I do got to do some thinking. I got to do some thinking. Option one, I step southwest. Hulk punches me north through the child zombie, through the fat zombie, and up adjacent to the necromancer room. <laughs> if I pull something like that off, you guys will never, ever hear the end of it. <laughs> never. Nah, it's better that I don't have the rollerblades. They they would they would not be a benefit in this situation. I am definitely happy I am not wearing the rollerblades. 
I'm just trying to decide. I could step to here, hope for a super punch that launches me this direction. I still don't think I would be able to get to the Necromancer room, even with a super punch. Even with a perfect punch! And if I bounced off this guy and landed here, I still don't think... By the time I recovered my, my feet, I don't think I would be able to make it into the Necromancer room. But if I step back into the room here and try to fight this out, I might be able to take a bio operator or two before I go down, but the hulks are going to put paid to me. As soon as the hulks get on me, I just it won't come anywhere near enough to get the damage in. So, save my life for a few rounds or pray for a miracle and get a super punch that launches me north. <laughs> this is where the mole rat digs through the wall and gives me an out. Yes. Yes. Hmm. No, this is the flashlight. I've got the flashlight. I turned the flashlight back on so I could try to gauge where I was at in the hallway. And that's what revealed this mess. <laughs> it was me flipping the flashlight on that went, oh, well, maybe I'm not going to be able to make that. So currently it's flashlight. They all know I'm here and we're going to be making noise. They're all going to dogpile in. So backing to the, to the, to the, well, the, that, that's the wrong direction for you, but it's the right direction for me. <laughs> backing to the right, into the east, into the room, it's just a, a sure death that'll just uh, prolong things a slight bit. I'm just not sure if I can rely a third time on a super punch rescue. And I suspect, I'm pretty sure that uh, the bio operator is going to tag me and drop me first. Then I'll get kicked. I'll get drop kicked by the zombie. I won't have time to get the grenade out. Oh, that's true. That's true. The heals have been uh, pretty critical. The heals are why I'm still in it. I definitely, there's no way I'd still be here without the heals. They would have finished me. I would have got finished off <laughs> by the, between, I think, the first and the second ambush without the heals. <clears throat> the nickel and diming and all the damage I took definitely wouldn't have made it. So, huh, victory for the rebels, at least in that regard. <laughs> all you contrarians. No, don't be buying more hit points. They're They're not available. <laughs> We, we had to turn those off. Uh, I gotta make a decision here. It's tough. Uh, right at the end. I, I would rather die in sight of the Necromancer, though. I don't think the gun's gonna do me any good. I think it's drop gun, pop out the, uh, the mono blade and turn on the CQB, pop the adrenaline, step southwest, and just pray for a launch. Pray for a launch due north. I think that's my best option. Backing over here is just not going to save me. Not against what's coming. So, towards that end. We're going to drop. I'm moving now, by the way. Time is moving. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get the mono blade out. Let's get the CQB rolling. And hit the adrenaline. That's about all I can do for free. I got no other options now that's not going to cost me valuable points of time. Alright, you guys ready? Am I going to get an emergency rescue? Flashlight off? I, I think the flashlight's fairly irrelevant at this point. <laughs> uh, maybe it'll keep a, a few of the smaller zombies off me. Yeah, uh, technically it's probably the smarter play to do to turn it off. But uh, they all know I'm here. They're all going to move towards their last known location. So, I mean, they're all going to march towards me anyway. So, I, I don't think it's going to have much of an effect. But we'll go ahead and turn it off. Alright, I am going to step down and left.
Nah, I wouldn't gain that much. We're, we're only wearing a leather backpack. I mean, I'm si sitting at 6.1 dodge. I think it would go up to 7 point something maybe if I dropped the backpack. But I would rather preserve my potential launch opportunity. This is the only launch opportunity I'm going to actually get. So, here we go. Alright. No more waffling. <laughs> We're going to do this thing. I'm praying for a launch to the north, because otherwise it's just instant pulverization. And you, you, you kind folks will be victorious for the evening. Alright, looking for a third miracle. On a one. On a two. And three. <laughs> oh, man! Did I get smushed. We did not get our miracle launching. <laughs> you finally got me. You finally managed it. All right, let's look at this hilarious log. Did I get punt? Did I get smashed into the wall by something else? What what actually happened here? So, what? My biotic refuses to activate. Oh, I didn't get my adrenaline. Oh, all right, whatever. Um, so I dodged. I dodged. I blocked some with my blade. I blocked and countered for 38. I got zapped. Uh, we got hit. Struck. I could still get launched. There's a tiny, tiny chance I'll still be alive when I get launched. We got slammed. We got kicked. <laughs> we got punched, 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 punched. My arm broke. More kicks. Alright, I'm assuming, yep, I'm downed. I'm still I'm still hoping for a super punch. Just so I can uh, take out that zombie child north of me. Alright, well last last move, last opportunity. I'm gonna hit the five key. And uh, try to stand up, and it'll be the death of me. There's no way I'm gonna survive. Hulk bio bio soldier. <laughs> what I'll laugh at is if the child zombie gets the final killing blow. Alright, here we go. Hit the five key. Holy crap. I'm still alive. How did that happen? I'm still down, so it didn't really help me any. Alright, I'm going to tap the seven key. I'm going to try to go up and up and left. I want the super punch. <laughs> still alive. Um, I don't know if one occurred right there. Blocks and counters... Oh, we got the zombie child! We block and countered the zombie child and killed it. Hey! One final death! Anybody do Hey, here's your opportunity! We have we have a dead zombie on screen. <laughs> Anybody wanna upgrade and uh, evolve a zombie child into something? This is probably your last chance. Next next key I press is gonna be the end of the run. Oh yeah, I owe some people, don't I? Do I have some that I owe? Who wants an upgrade? <laughs> I think it's the only thing dead nearby. I think I don't have any other corpses. Yeah, we just have the one zombie child corpse, so one more opportunity. Treakling? Treakling sounds good. Treakling would probably want to be one of the better choices. Nope, no healing. Nobody spend points on healing. I don't know who I owe. I have no idea who I still owe. So somebody that I, I owe an upgrade or a revive and then an evolve to, which would be anybody with a $5 tip or a, a resub that didn't get it accounted for earlier. Shriekling? All right, we'll do a Shriekling. Spawn, spawn a monster, Shriekling. And we'll have to put it right in that space that I was about to try to move into. There we go. Shrieklings down. Alright, here we go with the final key press of the challenge. What I'm going to do is when I die, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna Alt F4 out and reload. And I just want to look real quick to see how close I got to that room. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's right here. I just want to double check how close we got. Alright, I'm going to hit the key for the final time. Nah, I can't pull the frag. I'm still downed. I can't really do anything. And it, it's going to take time I don't have to grab the uh, grenade. Yeah, well, I guess I could pull the pin. You're, you're correct. I could do that. But we'll do that. We'll pull the pin. The action's guaranteed to occur, but I'll be dead before it goes off. <laughs> so, 
Here we go. Last action. Pull the pin on the grenade. Gorman, you always were an asshole. <laughs> What's that I hear? <laughs> I told you I'd be dead before it went off. Alright, you guys are victorious. You have finally got me. It is official. It is uh, Vormithrax zero. Kind of followers and supporters. One. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna alt F4 this. I don't care what my kill count is or anything like that. So we're gonna we're gonna kill this. I'm gonna reopen it, and I just want to take a quick peek. I want to see how close we got to the last the last room before I got pinned in for the final time there. Just a day with my mole rat? Yeah. I coulda. I coulda. That would have been an option. I would have had the same problem. There was. I was going to run into that big, big, massive group right in that middle section no matter what happened. So no matter what direction I came in, I was going to face plant right into that huge crowd. So tactically, there's not really much I could have done differently. Except if you guys hadn't penned me in. Like I said, looping back out and around would have been it. Uh, well, that's not where I expected to be, but all right. Uh, teleport. <laughs> Get me in there, and then uh, teleport. Short range, I believe, right here is the room. Nope, I missed. Teleport. Short range. Is it this one? Oh, I... W Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is there another set? That can't be right. Teleport. No, it's got to be this room right here. We were in the room next door. Directly next door. I misremembered very slightly. It's that room right there. There it is. I was standing here. I, it's, it's a slight possibility I could have made it if I had actually bum-rushed these guys to the north. If I had uh, made that run of three or four spaces, maybe... I could have got to this corner before they plugged the gap. But that would have been the Necromancer right back here along this, this section right there. So that's how close we got. I died like right here, right here. Alright, that's fine. So I was right for the most part. I just forgot a little bit about where exactly this room was in comparison to this other section here. So that's the auto dock. Alright, I am dead. <laughs> Congratulations! Chat, you win. I uh, I succumb to my injuries. Uh well that was uh that was a bit of an adventure. Let's um let's all pour out of that. <laughs> Close that up. Alright, I'm gonna take my hat off. Uh scratch my head a little bit. Take off the headphones. I don't need them. Alright, so this was VVV number one, Vorm versus viewers number one. Uh, first off, massive thank you and shout out to everybody that uh, was able to contribute tonight, not just for uh, subbing, but also for uh, just participating in chat, showing up, keeping the numbers up, all that stuff. Greatly appreciated. Very, very helpful. Um, I'm not sure exactly which day I'll be submitting the application. Sometime in this next week is when I'm going to submit the application. Possibly next weekend. I'm a little curious what's going to happen to my view numbers when I uh, switch to full-time. And um, I'm playing games that are not Cataclysm. So it's going to depend a lot on how many of you guys show up uh, and have interest in the other games that I plan on covering for the channel. Um, so your ongoing viewership is greatly appreciated in uh, helping push the channel along to get the partner status. But uh, again, massive thank you and shout out to all those that were able to... Uh, Support the channel through bit tips and through subs. Greatly appreciated. The funds for this are going directly into the um, the fundage for getting the graphics updated. It's the last thing I need to accomplish on my list. We got everything else done, so that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, I'm not going to talk about what games I'll be playing tonight. I'm 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 pretty wiped. <laughs> I'm pretty wiped after this evening. Um, I want to talk about this particular event and stuff, but um, if you enjoyed this type of event, I, I don't expect this kind of turnout or, uh, or donation volume every time we run one of these, and I don't want to run these super often. My current thought is 
on the last normally scheduled Cataclysm Day of each month, we'll run some kind of an event like this. Um, so I think once a month will be plenty. You guys can save up duct tape, and we'll try to have some more options for duct tape. We'll figure out with what we learned tonight, and I'll go back and kind of review footage. We'll figure out a good way of managing and setting up kind of the duct tape stuff so everybody has a chance to participate in a meaningful way and have some fun with it, even if they're not able to support through uh, subs or tips. Um, so we'll, we'll do a mix of both. So both are available, and uh, we can continue to support the channel and grow the channel in those ways. But if you have ideas on how you'd like to things see things done or some, some scenario ideas on how we can mix them up, the next one I want to do is going to involve a lot more mutations, changing of my character on the fly, raising and lowering stats. I liked tonight's uh, kind of a push-pull with the healers helping me out and uh, everybody else trying to kill me. Um, I think that worked out really well. Thank you again. Also, big shout out and thanks to those guys uh, or gals or other that uh, were keeping track of the points for me. That was massively beneficial. That was the, the one thing I was really, really worried about with trying to do this was trying to keep track, especially of the duct tape part. The other one I might have been able to do, but um, it's a lot to keep track of. So very, very big thank you to everybody that was keeping track of the points and keeping everybody updated and uh, keeping me straight, keeping me honest on those things. So uh, I do also plan on uh, getting some people modded. I need some moderators for the channel now that we're rolling into full time. So a lot of changes coming, a lot of changes for the channel. So if you're, if you're still watching and listening, make sure you keep an eye out on Sunday for either a live stream on YouTube or just a video. I'm, I'm not sure which yet I'm going to do, but I'll announce it on my Discord and I'll get it scheduled if it's going to be a live stream. Uh, but I'm going to talk about coming changes, change, ugh, changes to the channel. It's going to be Monday to Friday to start. 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. So it's going to shift slightly. Still an eight-hour stream, but I'm going to move it back two hours. And then I'm going to do that schedule for a couple of weeks, make sure that, um, that my energy levels can handle it and that I can rearrange my real-life commitments to meet that. After that period, I'm thinking of going to noon to 10 p.m. So 10 hours, uh, five days a week. And uh, I'll have more breaks in there, so it'll be about nine hours, actually live on stream uh, with like a half hour lunch break and a couple of breaks. But uh, that's kind of the long range plan and I'm going to be doing a lot more games. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, it's especially helpful if you uh, drop by my Discord channel and give me your comments or thoughts on how this night went, what you liked, what you didn't like, what you thought could be done a little better or differently. Um, the Discord, I can go back and review the comments and it's much, much, much easier for me to uh, to get your feedback and to actually make it actionable in that way. So please take advantage of that as the primary way of giving me feedback so we can uh, improve this process. I think it went well. I think everybody had some fun. I had a great time. Um, it's a good time trying to uh, trying to hunt you down. I failed, but it was close. We had uh, some really fun close escapes, some miracle escapes along with some action. So it was good times, but um, yeah. I think I'm gonna go get some real food. I am. Uh, I'm wiped. That was uh, a little more more attention and excitement than I normally have to put in. So thanks again, everybody. Really, really appreciate all of the donations, all of the uh, the viewership. I'll let you know how we did on uh, unlocking some more of the emote uh, options and all that as well. So had a great time. Thanks, everybody. Have a good evening and. Um, yeah, I'll be on Sunday probably with a live stream on YouTube, by the way. Not here on Twitch. I'll do it on YouTube. And or I'll be back on Monday at my new time. And it will be Cataclysm on Monday. So <laughs> nice, easy transition. So have a great night. Thanks again. And uh, stay safe out there.